Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo. I am Daniel O. As you know, a lot of developers still love to use IntelliJ to develop Microsoft's application with Spring Boot Framework, even Quarkus, and then deploy that application to Kubernetes cluster because there are a lot of uh, great functionality and capability features. You can use that to develop uh, your application easily, simply, and quickly. So by the way, the Red Hat Core Ready workspace built on Eclipse Che, which provides the default browser-based ID tool, uh, can be used with the developer workspace. By the way, the architecture of Core Ready workspace is very flexible to use any other ID tools such as Jupyter Notebooks and IntelliJ as well. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through how to create a custom workspace using the community edition of IntelliJ IDA. Let's get started. Okay, here's my OpenShift container platform. So I'm going to start to uh, deploy a core data workspace using operator function. First of all, in order to do that, I need to switch it to admin's console and go to operator, operator half, and I try to find the core radio space deployed by, by Red Hat. And you can click on the core radio space, you can find the race version. It should be a uh, race version, for example, 2.5. And then we're going to install this operator in the specific project, like an IntelliJ demo. And then it takes a few seconds to finish the installation your core radio space operator. Okay, we just finished that. And then click on the detail, and then we need to install new check cluster, which allows us to deploy required pod, for example, uh, core radio workspace pod, and also uh, the key cloud to manage your authentication. Also PostgreSQL, to store your user data and uh, your uh, core ready uh, project on your database. Okay, it takes a few minutes to finish installation of all necessary pods. Okay, so go back to developer console. You can see the pod on your topology view and you click on the core ready pod uh, to access to a raw URL and you can uh, login uh, based on open to single sign on authentication once you allow the select permission and you need to update your account information like an email address and your first name and last name. Okay, so we just start up our new core radio space. You can find that uh, there are quick start like a JVC April Maven project or Quarkus Java project or Spring Boot uh, and also Vertex, Dynamic Core, Python. There are a lot of runtime framework. So today we're going to create a new custom workspace based on uh, IntelliJ. So we're going to, uh, the name uh, IDA, and then when you click on the reference and you can find there how to install a new IntelliJ uh, workspace based on new uh, image uh, based uh, from the Quay.io plugin IntelliJ, which allows you to install uh, IntelliJ IDA on top of the core radio workspace that should be from JetBrain. Uh, you can also mount JetBrain directory when you uh, store your project. Okay, create open a new workspace. As you can see in the left side menu, the new workspace just gets started and it takes a few seconds or a few minutes, uh, sometimes a little bit longer to start up because it's pulling image first from uh, Red Hat Registry and then uh, running that plugin inside this app uh, core radio space. Okay, just start it and then you can see a uh, normal uh, notification when you run uh, IntelliJ on your local machine. So this is actual core radio space. Okay, there are multiple ways to start up your application project. You, we could try to clone one of the repository. This is my personal Git report. There are lots of the uh, Quarkus example. So for example, here is Quarkus the remote project to run Quarkus application to remote live coding on container environment and a copy using the no VNC uh, capability and then copy the Git repository and then paste it on your uh, IntelliJ uh, GUI and then clone that application. It takes a few seconds actually and then uh, all project uh, manifest and uh, file just reload. 
uh, just like you did on your local machine with IntelliJ tools. Okay, here's uh, my Palm XML Quarkus project. As you can see, here's your Quarkus artifact ID and the Quarkus version and all dependency library I define on my GUI repository. When you go to uh, actual Java code, like a grid resource file, and you can see all uh, Quarkus project and then just like the IntelliJ. So don't worry to use Corelio space uh, a short pass or a key. Uh, functionality you can still use the a uh, lot of flexibility use the the other ID to like an uh, IntelliJ so pretty cool so thanks for watching and uh, please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel for the next available video tips and demo have a good rest of the day